And I didn't actually take my first drawing class until um, until sophomore year. So like, I don't know. I started doing like bigger stuff when that happened. I picked up pencils and I was like, this is pretty cool. And then I just like, I drew a lot of horses when I was younger. Like I was like one of those girls who just drew a bunch of horses. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I just like started out by drawing like things around my house and stuff, and then um, and then like when I got into high school, like I just had a, like a crazy imagine, like I noticed how crazy my imagination was, and I was like, I could put that on paper, like what? And so I just started drawing like little doodles of like crazy things. I absolutely love ink and charcoal and I like try and combine both of those things into like every piece that I do. So like when I'm done with the hair here I'm probably going to do like in the really dark spots I'm going to put some ink in there and this is already like a charcoal piece so it's like, I don't know, I just really like, uh, I like how manipulative ink is and like how uh, how delicate it is. Like when you use a nib like you have to be really careful and I, I just I, like I love the precision of it. and. Um, Charcoal is really fun because you can just like blend it so many times and like make so many different um, values out of it by using like either white and black charcoal or just like just black charcoal by itself. I just, I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> I just like love like super gnarly artwork. It's a really difficult jump or like leap of faith to try and be like oh I'm gonna be an artist and just sell my artwork and that's how I'm gonna make a living because so many people do that and it's like so many people fail at it and like I know that my stuff is good but I don't know if it's that good to be able to like solely depend on it I hope I can make a living in art because it's my passion